What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the True Shot Guest Bob Podcast. My guest today is Hui Carnero. I know I, I do it. Listen, I know I'm gonna pronounce. I'm, I'm gonna butcher his name. He pronounces it right in the beginning of the podcast, so you'll get the correct pronunciation. But this guy here is just. I don't know, man. He's a designer extraordinaire. One of the best graphic artists that I've had the pleasure of working with with True Shot. He designed the Mirage artwork. And with this episode, you know, we kind of talk about a lot of things graphic design related, of course. Um, but we also tackle kind of, uh, you know, I guess the, the the good, the bad, and the ugly of the design game, you know, with different... Art. Not, not that anything's really personally happened to him, but some artists, you know, they're kind of taken advantage of and whatnot. But we kind of talk about all that. We talk about some streetwear as well. We really tackle a lot of things. Aesthetic, I guess, is really the way to put it. So I'll shut up, and uh, here we go. Here's my episode with Hui Carnero. Right, listen, we just listen to the beginning of it. He'll pronounce the name right. I look like an imbecile. All right, goodbye. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the True Shot Guest Spot. Now, I usually would introduce the guest, but I know I'm going to butcher your name. I know that I've seen you post it online a couple times of how to pronounce it, but I want to make sure I get it right. So I figure the best way to do that is just have you introduce yourself, sir. Of course. Hello, I'm, I'm Hui. And I'm a graphic designer. Yes. Okay. So it's a lot of people, especially us over here in America. We see your name. We just think it's Rui. We just we just pronounce it phonetically as to yeah. how it looks. What I've heard is that um, English uh, English um, the, ling- the English language doesn't doesn't have the r doesn't have the r sound. No, you don't have that. Yeah, we do not. No, it's yeah. it's it's funny. I um I know that obviously you're from you're from Portugal, but yes. I I took um I was. And when I was in college, I took a couple weeks of French and I stopped mm-hmm, taking mm-hmm. French just because of the different noises that you have yeah. to make associated with the dialect. And mm-hmm. it just threw me off. And I was like, I can't do this. I just feel like I'm doing it incorrectly. I feel silly. Mm-hmm. But um, you must get that a lot. People just calling you Rui because you work with uh, a lot of American bands. and stuff. Yes. Um, I, I don't talk to them like... Um with a voice well sure. I mean, it's, it's always with email but so, yes uh, but but is that for me it's not it's natural because it's not um it's a it's a sound that you guys don't have so i, I don't take it personally that that happens though no there's, no there's no worries no that's yeah do you do you have like any kind of like nicknames that you go by like uh, for like american uh people no say, like, no we'll, not we'll actually <laughs> no 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 it's just it's just Roy, um well, my name is really Portuguese, so mm-hmm. I, I can't even play with it. So, yeah. So, it's, it's de, Rui. Rui works, or uh, however you pronounce it. For me, it's it's all good. It's all good. All right. So, Rui. Yes. That, 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 that's it. Perfect. All right. Look at that. I'm, I'm learning a new language yeah. on this podcast. I'm excited. So, being from Portugal, um, what is that like in terms of... Um, you know, is English your, your, is that your, is it your second language or is, yes. yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to assume that the, the learning English is very uh, heavily in like the school curriculums. I'm yes. Assuming. Yes. For example, uh, of course, all, all schools are different. And, mm. and uh, my mom is, a, my mom is actually an English teacher. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. English and French actually. And so I, because she, she's a, in a way, she, because she's a teacher, I, me and my two sisters, we always went to private school, oh. always. And in, my, in our school, we learned English since the first grade, since grade one to the last, we always had English. Wow. So in a way, that's how I learned. But here in Portugal, uh, we never do anything, only cartoons, but movies, music, it's games, everything in, is in English. So all the bands I loved, were American and all the games I played were of course in English. So 
uh, I have to learn. I have to learn. It was my way of learning. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting because it, I I know that um, you know for for people to really learn a, another language, they say to start when you're younger because it just it it connects easier. Yes. But it's just so interesting to just around the world and different people I've talked to from different countries, like how heavily like integrated the English language and in, mm -hmm. in, into like the school curriculums whereas over yes. here in the u.s i mean there's other languages that we learn over here but it's not like as like this is you have to learn yeah. this you know mm -hmm. so i i think that that's super interesting yeah so you're a graphic designer and yes. uh, i i know that personally because yes. well number one i'm wearing one yes. of the <laughs> merch designs that you did for us i think yeah. you know i'm going to wear one of this uh, one of these on on the podcast today and it's on the back as it looks, well looks great looks great yeah that's yeah it. so i kind of, well so we do um we do a print a print on demand service mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what we do right now and what happens with that is that you tend to not get the best quality fabrics and stuff like that. I can so, imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. So I would I would love for this design to be on a higher quality mm, garment. Garment. But, yeah. But for for what it is though, man, I got it and I was just like, wow. I, I was thoroughly impressed, like just how it all comes out. Cause this is very yeah. intricate stuff that you yeah. do. Um so as you said, you're a graphic designer, and as we yes, just sir. established there. So when did that kind of uh, start for you? I know you said you went to private school. Did it kind of start yeah. there or did this come later? Uh, you want the, the, me the long story or the medium? Let's go with the medium story. The medium. Well, you go with the long story. That's fine. We're here. We're, we're doing okay. a podcast. It's all good. So, um, I st so uh, this all started when I started liking music. Uh, okay. I started, uh, I started at, at around 12 or 13. It was kind of late, late-ish. Mm -hmm. And well... I didn't like it. I was obsessed. Like you know, the you know those One Direction fans that scream and know everything oh, about the band. Boy. The band. Oh, I yes. was the same, but with like Good Charlotte, Linkin Park. So I was, and 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 that's something that I'm still. I'm. I'm I love music and I love and I'm totally obsessed with it. So, ever since a young age, I won I always wanted to be part of the music world. So, mm -hmm. But but I never. I never took any lessons. I never like worked for it. Like I just loved music. So, right. well, I went to school. I wanted to be a computer engineer. Mm. Going to school, blah, blah, blah. I love music. And when I got to college, I decided to do uh, a degree called multimedia. And what is multimedia? My degree taught me a, lar a lot about different small things. Everything that is digital. For example, I learned programming. I learned a little bit of graphic design. I learned... Um, I learned video, I learned marketing, I learned a, a little bit about everything, but just a little. Uh, wh why? Because this degree was preparing the students for a master's degree that, that's really focused on something we love. But, but I, I never took a master's degree. So my degree was over, and when I left college, uh, I wanted to do video, to do music videos, do movies, but that didn't happen. And I started working in a company doing marketing. So I did, um, so I did, uh, how do you say, it? publicity. I did uh, Instagram, Instagram posts, Facebook uh, social sure. posts, and I started playing with Photoshop. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and let me say that up until the moment that I, f I, up until the moment, the second I realized I could do this for a living, I never wanted to be a graphic designer. I never. So it, it was something that grew up. So. Backtracking, uh, I I started playing Photoshop and I started doing um, wallpapers for for cell phones. Like I started doing wallpapers for bands I loved, for example, Counterparts, Era, Silent Planet, just just for the hobby. And uh, my follower, my follow, my friends on Twitter and Facebook really liked them and said, "Hey, Roy, this is super cool." And I, and I was like, ah, "Okay." And and then a really important thing that I discovered was I discovered online that that existed um, shirt mockups. You know, the ones I use for your design, for example? Yes. I and I was like, oh, this is cool. And I put my my wallpapers on onto the shirts and they looked cool. Okay. At the time, they look cool. No. <laughs> no but they look cool. And my, my friend said, hey, this is really cool. I want to buy them. And I said, well, this is just experience. It, it, it doesn't exist. You're right. 
and this, this was in 2018. And 2019, and I, they, they started, I, I continued doing designs and such, and I started, uh, when the ball started rolling was when I started doing unofficial t-shirt designs for bands I loved, for example, Final Planet. I did a t-shirt Final Planet, I put it on Twitter and tagged them and said, hey guys, I love your music, I'm a big fan, and I love to work with you. And I did that for tons of bands, tons. But it, it, it got me nowhere. Like I got a few likes, I got a few followers, but nothing. Until, until 2019, September. In September, Sun Planet announced their third album called When the End Began. And yeah. Sun, for those who don't know, uh, Sun, Planet is my favorite, Sun Planet is my favorite band. Yes. So I thought, well, let's, let, let's make a design for this album. And I make a design and I made the design and I posted it on Twitter, and they, the band itself, retweeted it. Just, just, just retweeted it. And the fans loved it. Like, oh, I, I need it, I want I want this t-shirt, blah, 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 blah. Wow. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I was at my, at my job, I, I took a break to eat something, and I checked my phone. I went on Twitter, it said, Garrett Russell, DM. I, I, and I said, hey, Rui, I, we love your design, and we went, and we went to buy it. I remember drop, dropping the phone like, okay, this is it, this is it, I'm going to be famous. So I got the design, uh, they, they bought it online, everything great. And I thought, okay, this is it, I'm going to be a world star. <laughs> lie, lie, lie. It, it, it didn't happen. So up until um, October 2019, till February 2019, I got no clients. Nothing. I, I kept working. I kept posting on Twitter and such. Nothing happened. Uh, but, but in February 2019, I did an, a design for a band. I posted it on Twitter. The band retweet, again retweeted it, but they didn't buy it. But I got a few followers. And one of them was Tom from the band Casey. Do, do you know Casey, the yep. band? Yep. Okay, Tom Casey. And, I, and I, I've been a fan of Casey since, the, the, as I said, I've been obsessed with music for all my life. So I know all the bands, all the labels. I know, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fun girl. That's what I, I am a fun girl. That's, <laughs> I've always been. So uh, Tom sent, Tom followed me and I was like, holy shit, this is Tom from Casey. And for those who don't know, Casey in 2019 called it quits. The band is right. over. And it, uh, he, that, he, that message he sent me was when they announced their tour. And sent me, and it was like, "Hey, Rui, I'm Tom from Casey, and I'd like to email you." And okay, I got an email, and he said, "We are Casey, and we'd like to hire you to do all our merch for our new tour, like for our last tour." Wow. I'm like, wow. Uh, at, at at that point, I was I was a mere. I did one or two two, two, two t-shirts for a band, like <laughs> a band that's Casey hiring me, yeah. me. <laughs> Like I, I lost my, I lost my mind because I, I, I did the merch. At the end of the, uh, the tour has six. I, the tour had six items. I made four of them. I also made the tour back. You know the tour backdrop. Yeah. It was my first and last backdrop I did. Uh, no one ever, no one ever hired me to that. So if any band is listening, hire me to do more backdrops. But anyway, so I did the items. The fans. They posted and they tagged me, which was a big thing. They posted when, when, when they revealed they tagged me. I got tons of followers. Everyone was, oh my God, this merch is sick. And it's good. Okay. At the time, it was sick. Um, and that was it. In, in the round March, I started getting a few more clients. And in May, uh, I thought, well, uh, I'm, I'm at my, I, I have a job that I don't really like. I love the, I, I love the people there, but it mm. was not something that I, I wanted to do. So I said to my parents and my girlfriend, I said, hey guys, uh, I think this is, as you guys know, I always dreamt of being part of the music world. I think I have a shot here. And they, they said, Hui, go for it. This is, uh, you, you, are, you are, your job, you're not, going, you're not doing anything at your job. You don't like it. So quit. I quit. And thankfully, I've got I gotten more and more and more clients. Um, yeah, that was it. Well, that is an awesome story, and I yeah. and I and I love how passionate that you are because um, I think one thing that I have noticed, you know, being in a band, and because I've I've always just been a fan of music like you, just always have been. Um, we started the reactions that we do on our YouTube because we we ju I just love music. 
and I think a lot of times what I have found in, in, in this genre of music is that um, people are fans of it, but they're, I don't know if it's just like the passion has just withered over the years or not, but it's really cool to see somebody like you who uh, just has this intense passion for it. Mm. And, and, and I think that really shows with your artwork and how meticulous you are. So my question for you is, you know, where you are today versus where you were then, how do you feel like your artwork has evolved? Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, well, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it right away that in regards to Photoshop and Illustrator, which are programs I use, mm -hmm. today, I don't know much. I don't know much. I do what I, 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 it's real. I don't know much. I'm, I'm taking lessons in, in the site that's in that, in that site Skillshare. I think. Oh, wow. Seen. Really? Yes. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm taking the advanced lessons. Um, I have no, I have no shame in saying that, that oh, we all, not. we all as, we all as artists and as people, we are always growing. And one thing that I found is that art is infinite. Like there's yeah. an infinite number of things that, because, because in a way there's no rules, like you can do whatever you want. So I'm always trying to learn. And that's one thing that I want to say that I don't know much. What I do know is that uh, I've always loved um, clean, simple designs. Yes. I, I love street. I love streetwear. I love street, mm -hmm. really, really simple stuff. And I'm trying to get better at it. And at the start, I was really minimal, like super minimal. But now, nowadays, I'm my my small details are more details. Like I have little things here and there. I try to like make Easter eggs, like someone will buy hoodie in there, and, and that's like, oh, this is this is kind of cool. Like mm. um, my my small details, I want to make them more details in a way. Yeah. I think I think that's that's the way of saying it. Yeah, no, I I I love the little details, especially for the merch that you've done mm -hmm. for us, and also um, you know like artwork uh, that yeah. you've done for us too for our last single. Um, it's just like little things that like I even find kind of like I'll look at the design that you send me and I'll be like, mm -hmm. yeah, I really like that. And then I'll get it and I'll look at it and like, oh, wow, that's there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's stuff that I know, I, it's stuff that I notice after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, so because I think with your, your with your artwork from just, you know, somebody um, who's obviously been interested enough uh, to contact you to to work mm -hmm. with you, it's just so different from um the the i don't the, like i guess the typical mm. metal look merch yeah. you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. and it, it's so interesting it's it's very modern that like that's the yeah. way that we like to call it in our mm. band because our bass player uh derek he, he 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 thinks your artwork is great i mean he really likes you i, I mean we all like it but he really is like yeah we got to go with this guy he's very talented he's very modern looking um, because the one thing that we had done before was, and I, I, cause I'm, you know, until this happened, I was sort of ignorant to how, mm -hmm. you know, artwork and that stuff works. But, um, we've tried to stay away from Adobe stock image, uh, artwork, not because, mm -hmm. not because it's, it's bad or anything like that. But I remember I, we have, um, an artwork for one of our singles and I was on Instagram Mm -hmm. somebody had made like an Instagram post and it was the same thing. And I was like, yeah, I was like, wait a minute, how did that happen? It's mm -hmm. like, that's our artwork. Yeah. And I figured out it was Adobe stock imagery. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess this is kind of a, a, probably a tough question, but like when a band like us or, or any band approaches mm -hmm. you and they're like, I, we have this song, you know, we, mm -hmm. we want this kind of artwork. Like how do you kind of, uh, think about how you want to design it like mm -hmm. like yeah good question okay uh i go i go for um it's always different for me it's always different um but one thing i have to say is that ever since i i've been liking i like music for a long time i like metal for a long time but i never liked the metal merchandising i never right. liked it uh do you, when, when i started listening to metal i like do you remember those August Mills Red T-shirts and Parkway Drive that that that, that, that has like those cartoons, the neon the, cartoon yes. monster merch. Man, yeah. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. And, and that's why I think my my style is kind of different because mm. 
I prefer the pop art works. I prefer the kind of streetwear vibe. That's why it's always different. So how do I approach it? So, okay, for me, an artwork is like a puzzle. Yes. The most important for me is the layout. That's the most important. It's a layout. Um, I always try to have intricate and different designs. I'll say that on your design, the, the layout is not super intricate. It's not super different. But for me, it was different because it was a more normal design. I, yeah. wanted, a, I wanted a centerpiece and uh, your text at the bottom and then at, at, at the top, at the bottom. Right. And it, for me, it was different because it was kind of normal. But yes, coming back to your question. Um, for me, it's, like a, it's a puzzle. I have, I need to, it's so hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. Um, I have, <laughs> it's really because it's always different. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's the logo, it's the font that's, that, that sparks an idea. But as I say, is the layout is most important. If, it, if the in lay, layout is intricate or is like kind of something that we, I haven't seen before, or even if I go back to my own catalog and say, well, I've never done this before. Let's try something different. Because I think as an artist, I'm, we are, as an, are always trying to up ourselves, always trying to reinvent ourselves, never, right. try, never, never always doing the same thing. Right. And, and then that's it. Uh, for, for, for them, for your artwork. Yeah. Uh, the Mirage. Uh, I have that image, the, the girl kind of vanishing. And I played with it. I kind of made it like a vision. And I said, well, let's try to play with a few colors. And then I have, I have a few uh, color gradients on top of it. And since I, and when I had the centerpiece, like the center, I was like, okay, let's try to spice this up. So I made it ascend and then I made the, um, the, overlay, the, the overlay with the text and such. Yeah. It's always, it's always different. It's always, it's always it's, that's a tricky question because it's always different. Yeah, no, for sure. I, um, I, I just, it, when I approached you initially about it, like I had a feeling that you were kind of one of those artists that I was just like, I'll just give him some information to go with. And mm -hmm. I just want to see what he does. Cause sometimes designers will be like, well, what do you have in mind? And I'm just yeah. like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, mean, I can give you some loose ideas, of course. but what it, what is, what's fun with you? Like it's, 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 I mean, it's fun and entertaining. Not mm -hmm. only are we getting like a cool artwork at the end, but I'm like, what is he going to come up with? Because like, <laughs> I have no idea what it could be because what you come up with is a hundred times better than what I could be like, Hey, how about, how about something like this? Or like, you know, mm -hmm. a skull hand or, you know, yeah. something, you know what I mean? So I think that's super interesting. So, um, cause I actually just watched somebody do a reaction video for our song Mirage yes. and they, and they, they said that they really liked the artwork. And they, said oh, okay. it reminded, and they said it reminded them a lot of Darko. And I was like, well, it's the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so explain that with, uh, cause we'll talk about silent planet. Cause I, I am mm. a huge fan of silent planet. I'm a big fan of <laughs> Gare as a, <laughs> as a vocalist. I, uh, I really, he's a very inspiring lyricist. Um, the than anything. He's the best. He's the best. And, best. Yeah. He's, he's on another level. But, uh, no, completely, completely. Yeah. But with Darko, they're mm -hmm. kind of the, 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 the hot topic, right? Yeah. Now. They're, they're kind of like the hot ticket item right now. I love and, Darko. Yeah, oh, me too. I, lo I love that band. Yeah. And the artworks that you've done for them are mm -hmm. just so, like, like aesthetically, like, like, you just get drawn to them. They're just, like, mm -hmm. there. Like, if you, if you had a lineup of 10 artworks, it would be like, that's the first one you go to. That's how they uh, look. So explain that process with them if you can. It's okay, like, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, of course. Of course. So uh, Josh uh, yeah. contacted me last year because he's friend with Austin from Lorna Shore. Yeah. And I became I've I've been a fan of Lorna Shore for a long time, and I thankfully became a great friend of Austin last year. Uh, I I me and him made his made his clothing line called Love mm -hmm. Crime. So Austin is, uh, gave is. Uh, sent my portfolio to, to Josh when Josh was starting Darko. And I started the, working with Darko right after their first EP. So I did the merch. I did all the Darko merch. Mm -hmm. And then Josh, uh, when, they when they were start start starting to drop the new songs, he hired me again. He said, hey, Rui, let's do one of the merch for, for, for us again. And I said, let's go. 
So I started doing, uh, so he asked me, okay, so first of all, we need um, for pretenders. And he sent me the video, the song, and um, again, as you, as, as you, he didn't have any ideas for the design. He said, <laughs> just do whatever you want. Uh, we want, we want your style and the modern. Yes. Uh, and the, and a, a really important thing he said to me was, um, this artwork will be, uh, will be part of an album. And after, and uh, I'll hire you again for four artworks. So, okay, uh, there's, there's a few more singles coming, but okay, wow. uh, there's no worries. Yeah. So one thing I love is singles that combine themselves like a puzzle. So right. a, 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 as you notice, the, the singles of Pretenders, uh, Pel, Peltang and um, Donna, all mm. have the same layout. At the, at the corner, it's all the same, like, it's everything the same. But each song has a different symbol and a color, of course. Mm. So that was my first idea. So first was all singles will have the same layout, everyone. And he loved it, and it was a cornerstone. After that, the, for example, the Pretenders image. On the video, there's like images of, um, there's images of like bodies and like aliens and shit going down and such. And I said, OK, let's try. And I spent a few days browsing the internet looking for stuff. And I found that, that image of that body, mm -hmm. like kind of actual body instead. And I said, and I put it, and I put it on the artwork and I said, well, that's it. This looks sick. So I added a few <laughs> more details. I, I have a, those text, it, the, I, love, I love text details. So I added more text there and there. And then he loved it. So all, uh, the, the most important thing is all singles are part of the whole that uh, then after it, it, mm -hmm. uh, then it, it will be there will be an album mm -hmm. that uh, I, I also did I did the album too and all of these will combine will combine itself everything will combine and the, the climax will be the album that and then you'll see what, how, the, how the album looks and you'll understand at the end wow that man you got me excited because I, yeah. I I just uh yeah, man, I know I've said it multiple times, but your artwork just stands out. So I guess the other thing, too, is that because now uh, you said that you're always trying to evolve and challenge mm -hmm. yourself, which all artists should be doing. Yes. Um, but your style, I mean, do you feel like, have you thought about like, okay, like I kind of have this aesthetic that I've been showcasing. Mm -hmm. Like how, how, have you thought about, I'm sure you have, but like how not I'm trying to think of how to word this, but I, I like to maybe not differentiate it, but like make it so it's like, cause from your standpoint, do you want people to look at different artworks and be like, that looks similar? Or do you want it mm. to be like a totally separate universe within itself? Good question. Um, yeah. For different artists, uh, I, uh, I kind of, for, for different artists, I kind of want people to say, Hey, this is Rui, or, but in a way, I always want to be different. Yes. So I'm always looking for different artists and kind of, how do I say it? Uh, kind of like, uh, understand, like, see a different artist and kind of understand how, how they do what they do. Like, mm -hmm. and take, take those ideas and implement them on mine. Like, not, not that, of course, still, but like, right. I, I always want to learn. That that's what I said. I always want to learn new things so I can implement them in my own style. Uh, yeah, I never want an artist to have uh, the, the similar uh, artwork to the other arts I work with. I always want to be different. But yeah, that's it. For me, I always want to evolve. Always, always new yeah. things. Always new stuff. Uh, I find I find that I, I really. I don't know a lot. For example, in Photoshop, <laughs> I, I, I only know 20% of Photoshop. At, at best, I only know 20%. There's so much I don't know. Because in college, um, the, the classes I had of Photoshop were only the basic. Right. And my teacher was kind of shit. She was kind of <laughs> shit. Yeah. She, she was bad, bad teacher. Like, as a person, she was great. But as a teacher, not so great. So right. I learned nothing. So... There's a new universe of stuff I don't know, and I always want to try new things. I, I want I want to learn more more 3D. I want to do more 
more work with textures. For example, do you know the, the latest Noctilus, Noctilus merch? And not the latest, but the new Noctilus style that I think so, is yes. such crazy, yeah. like super vintage. I, I, I want to try some things like that because that's mm -hmm. something I never done. And the more I learn, the more I, are, the more I learn, the more I'll know to apply in my style, you know? Yes. So, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. okay. Have you worked with the band? Because I feel like uh, the way that you design art and like what you like to design and like the aesthetics that you aim for. Mm -hmm. Have you worked with the band Alpha Wolf before? Yes. You have okay, yeah. Because I feel like you guys are a match made in heaven, especially with just uh, how those guys dress. And yes, exactly. I did uh, like five items for them when after they released Fault. Okay. I, I haven't done for a quiet place to uh, a quiet place to like right yeah quite right yeah um, but uh, yeah I, I did uh, it was for for a tour I did like four items oh four awesome items. yeah I did because uh, yes I think I have a because uh, I have a street dress style and they yeah. hire me because of it but now they have a different style that I think I couldn't do because it's really it's super out there it's super it's super like, like big. Anime. Is, yeah, exactly. Anime. Anyway, right. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, the one, the designer who works the most with them is Tim. Uh, Tim, if you're here, if you're listening to this, you are sick. Tim is sick, and he does <laughs> he does sick stuff. It's completely different from my style. Completely. Yeah, different. I was listening to something with them, and they said that uh, the person, um, I, I, maybe it's this this guy Tim you're talking about who designed the album artwork. He was like a graffiti oh, no. artist. Uh, oh, oh, okay, it's somebody different. Uh, the one, the one who did the album. Uh, the one who did that, the, the, like Angel, the one who did the yeah, Angel, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. The one who did the layout, it's, called, it's an Australian designer called Utility Lab. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. I Well, because what I found interesting with their album art, because I was like, this is like very... Oh, it's, it's so it, sick. Yeah. So I guess that they, I had listened to a podcast that they had done or... Maybe he told me. I don't know. It all runs together. <laughs> but because uh, I had uh, Sabian, the guitar player, on the podcast. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a, a graffiti artist who traditionally mm -hmm. does like rap and hip hop and R&B stuff. I guess they painted that album art first and used it. And I was like, wow, that's just insane. It looks sick. Like, looks like, looks yeah, sick. it is really, really cool. So with you, because obviously, uh, you know, from the outside looking in again as a band, I look at you as kind of like top tier designer. Thank I really do. I mean, I'm not just saying that. Like, I view you as like the okay. Like, we need to, we need to go because you. I mean, you're you're the person that we want to go to. Thank you. I mean, from here on out. I mean, there's gonna be more work coming, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but how do you manage all the time i mean because you must have you must be inundated with yeah. uh people who want you to do stuff because it's not like us where we're like hey a single art and a hoodie you must get like okay we need 10 t-shirts yeah and three singles or something you know so how do you manage uh, all this good time? question good question um thankfully thankfully i have tons of i have tons of clients thankfully thankfully and I'm working directly with a few labels, and uh, they okay. sent me all their clients too. Yeah. All like, hey, who can you do? For one of them is Sharp Tone. Yep. I work a lot with Sharp Tone. I do most of their artists. Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, the time. <laughs> good, good question. Uh, I always try to ask, hey guys, you need this by when? Uh, well, I say, I, I, I most times I, I don't really have time now. Can I get? Can, can I get two weeks? Can I get? Three weeks because right. I have I have some clients I need to get, I have some clients like him first and I have to do them first right yeah and yeah and then I need to take some time off because it happens to every artist we get creative oh. locks yes. sometimes I spend days and I can I can get anything done it happens to everyone and yeah I I need to, I have to ask how, how much time they want how much time they need sometimes it's something that's not super complex. Sometimes the client has all the ideas and I can make my own style. Sometimes they have no ideas and I have no ideas. So we, I have to think and have and run and stuff. Right. Yeah. So, but yes, thankfully I have tens of clients, but I can manage. Uh, I can manage, but it, it takes some time. It takes some time. <laughs> yeah. Because you ask us that same question and I, and I yeah. try to make a concerted effort to reach out to, uh, 
creative people, especially with as much of a heads up or mm-hmm. as I can possibly give them because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I think it's a little um, silly to kind of go into somebody and be like, all right, we need this in three days. I mean, it's like, yeah. okay, that's just not realistic. I mean, you're yeah. going to give them more time than that. The more, but, the more the merrier, the more the merrier, the more time I have the best. Yeah. So man, I can, uh, how many, uh, if you had to estimate like on a per week basis, cause you, you know, you worked a full-time job before mm-hmm. how, how many hours a week would you say that you really like? I work, I work uh, every day. I work yeah. every day and uh, I don't know, maybe eight hours a day, but for me, for me, it's not, not it's not work, you know, for me, it's not work. Sure. Uh, right. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah. It's kind of like if, if I could just like, do Oh, yeah, my, my my girlfriend always says that I I need to take some time off, and I should I should take more time off because that's all I that's all I do. <laughs> and she's looking at me because uh, <laughs> uh, our apartment's not super big, so she's on a sofa. Uh, but yes, um, uh, yeah, I work about eight hours a day. Um, she says more, okay, probably more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, um, but. Uh, I'm not always. I'm working, and I'm. Uh, uh, I have a, a, a stream, a Twitch stream on the back. I'm. I'm, I'm listening to stuff. I'm trying. To, I'm looking. I'm looking up at more ideas. I'm talking to clients. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking over. I'm thinking over stuff. It's not 100% all the time work, but yeah, uh, and most of the times I'm on Photoshop and Illustrator doing doing stuff. It sounds like you owe your girlfriend a nice getaway vacation. Yes. Nice- we, we, we took a few days ago, but of course, Portugal is on lockdown again. Oh, that's true. Right. Yeah. Duh. The pandemic, but, yeah, no, no, no worries. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Portugal, Portugal, we are on lockdown again. But uh-huh. we, took, we, we took some days, we watched the movies, we had the, the time for us. It was, it was great and it helped. I, I did, after that, I did some great work. So yeah. it's all great. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, it's a lot of work. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, I work with the tons of amazing clients, the bands I've always loved. Now I'm working with more pop pop clients. As oh, of right now, yeah. as, as of right now, no. But I've worked in a few. I worked a lot with Black Bear. I work with Internet Money. Uh, yeah, thankfully. Uh, yeah, no. I've seen that you've started to to, to branch out mm-hmm. in terms of uh, different genres of music. So how does thankfully. that how does that influence your design? Because you know, a Darko artwork, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different than a, a, a Black Bear. Uh, for me, in the world of pop, the fa- I feel the fans are more hype beasts, you know? Yeah. Right. yeah. So it's kind of different. Um, so for me, it's all about the street art style. On the metal, I try to, I try to, um, to blend the metal with the streetwear. Yep. On the pop, it's all streetwear. It's also, I do all streetwear. I, I, don't, I don't care. I do all streetwear. Uh, most, of, most of them don't give me a lot, a lot of ideas. But yeah, uh, I, as I know, they all love Supreme. They love Off-White. Right. They love all those, band, those, those brands. So yeah, that's how I do. I More minimal, more text, not so much image. Um, something more simple, something at, only at, at the front, something more color block. So mm-hmm. it's kind of different, but it's always my, I always try to bring my style, or always, at least. Yeah. So from, from a designer's standpoint, because I prefer like the more minimalist style as well, but why do Same. you think, why do you think that style resonates with people so much? Because I think like you would think, you would think that if people looked at it, you'd be like, wait, I have to spend how much money for just yeah. a couple of words on a t-shirt? Mm-hmm. Why do you think that people tend to gravitate towards that style that that's a good that's a good question and honestly i think it's the influence of bigger and more popular artists or uh, celebrities mm. if they wear it it will influence you even if you don't think about it you know um i, I think that's kind of it if a, if a big band wears something another all the fans and all the small bands will kind of even if they, even if they even if they don't think about it, they will follow tra- follow the trend, you know. And we are all uh, we are all we are all the same. I think that that's it. We all follow the trends. Then yeah. there must be a trend center, and the one that on that trend is set, we will follow along. I, th- I think that's it. And I always love this simple style like text. 
paste with kind of weird um, locations on the on the chest and such. Uh, I think that's kind of it. I think that we will we'll follow we follow along mm-hmm. to the big to the big guys. Uh, I think I think that's kind of it. I think. Yeah, no, that's definitely that's definitely probably what it is. And and the other thing that I was going to ask you, uh, because I really like the streetwear style, but I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm a, I'm 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 pretty ignorant to as how like where you get this. St- so I, I think to myself, I'm like, I, like I look at some people that are in bands, like their promo photos, mm-hmm. and I'm like, where do they buy these clothes? Great, great question. I mean, that's a discussion that I can't I can't answer. I, I, uh, I don't know where they buy it. I uh, know because th- those things are expensive for the uh, off white, for example. I, I have one, I have one shirt of white, of white, because it it was a gift. It was a gift. Yeah, it was a gift. But that, because that that's really expensive. I I don't know if it's clothing lines that um, provide them only to lend, then they they give it back. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, off white is expensive. I've seen bands with Fear of God, and Fear of God is super expensive. Like a T-shirt is like one thousand dollars, yeah. Or uh, oh, maybe 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 not one thousand, but like five 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 hundred. Still, that's uh, a ton of money. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I, I like I, I like because it's minimal, but yeah, but uh, it's super expensive. I I, I don't have one. I, I don't I don't have anything that's expensive. That's a good question. That's. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because I, I think of the first person I think of is actually Sabian. And like I see him yes. in like this full fox. Supreme. Yeah, the Supreme, Supreme. or like the Supreme. fox racing, the fox Don racing. Yeah. Balenciaga shoes, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, wait, fox racing? I'm like, this was cool when I was like nine. And like, yeah. well, how is this popular? And that's a, a, and that fox one is a collab with Supreme, so more expensive. Yeah, yeah. That's, Supreme, that's yeah. the hype that's thing. Exactly. Supreme, Supreme Supreme could uh could work with a water bottle and yeah. just be like it's such an interesting yeah. psychology. The thing, about, the thing about Supreme is that their items are not expensive. What's expensive is resellers. Yes, because they have a limited quantity of them. Yeah, of course. They have like 50 t shirts yeah. that, that they sell for like, I don't know, forty dollars a t shirt at, at a at a shop. Then the resellers sell them for Hundreds of dollars, hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds. Yeah, yeah, I just. Where do you, where do you think? Because I, because I, you're the guy I think to ask these questions to. Because you're the designer, you're you know the aesthetic creator. So, <laughs> like, where did this supreme for now? I never got on it. I never really got it. I was just like, mm. I just to me, it's just clothes <laughs> to yeah. to an extent. So I'm like, where did this supreme like hype? beast train come from that's a good that's a good question uh, i know supreme was a small skater shop because i've seen a few uh, seen a one or two the, the documentaries i saw YouTube. the company man video as well i don't know yeah. If you've seen that. Uh, yeah i saw a smaller one i saw a small documentary on youtube and i saw i know they were um oh i know the supreme um Kanye, Kanye were Kanye were supreme to M- to an mtv uh-huh. music uh-huh. award show that was it and uh, it was it, he, he wore shoes, red shoes of Supreme, and I think he blew up. Oh, uh, he blew up. <laughs> it was my card. It was my card. Yeah. It, blew up. it blew up. I, I think that with uh, with that it was it. For example, Fear of God. Fear of God is the quality line by Terry Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Yeah. And I think it blew up because he did the merch for Justin Bieber Purpose Tour, and that they, yeah. I think that's it. And for them, off white, um, the one, um, uh, how is it? Virgil, the mm-hmm. one who owns off white, he worked for uh, 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 what was that calling like that big one? Um, I, I, I don't think it was Golchi Gabbana, but it's something like that. Louis Vuitton. He worked for, it okay. was, he was a directive, directive, creative director for. Yes. Uh, for that for that brand, and when he started off white, uh, Kanye also wore it. And oh, yeah, so it's Kanye. God damn uh, yeah. it, Kanye! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's if the big guys wear it, everyone will follow along. I it, think that it's, it's a trend. Maybe I can I see Kanye in one of these hoodies. Maybe maybe of he'll course, wear, maybe he'll of wear course. Around. Maybe please, that'll please, be it. Please. That'll be the key to, to it all, right there. <laughs> Oh man. So I want to go back to silent planet because yes. I know that's kind of where this, this inception for you started with this oh, of course. design of course. career. Mm-hmm. Yes. And 
from the outside looking in to Silent Planet, I know that because Garrett and I follow each other on Twitter, and I, I've talked to him here and there. Seems mm-hmm. like just a super nice guy. Oof, I mean, just a, a truly a nice person. The nicest, the nicest guy. Yeah. So, and you were a fan of them before all this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that wow. So you must be even more of a fan now, oh. just be, by proxy of just. It's, uh, it, honestly, it, it's a dream come true. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. I, I've been a fan of Silent Planet since their first album. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Because everybody was talking about it, and I said, "Okay, let's check it out." And I really like. I love their music. But I think you can you can agree with me that for me the most important the, the biggest important the most important thing about Silent Planet is their lyrics. Yeah. For me, it, there's just no band that compares in terms of uh, like w- the lyricism and the words he uses, yeah. the way he sings it. For for me and someone, and he writes about horrible horrible subjects. And mm-hmm. thankfully, I've never been subject to anything anything. I I, I had a happy life, happy. Yeah. And he, he sings it, and I feel, I feel it like, for example, uh, racism. He sings, I've never experienced racism, never, never. Right. And I feel it, I like, it's, it's amazing how, how, can he, how can he think about such things with such passion and power that everyone who, you, you can, you, maybe you, 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 you spent your life never feeling that, and you feel what he's saying. That yeah. for me, that's why I love Five Planets. That's the reason they are my favorite band. Yeah, for me, I I got into them with, I think this is how probably a lot of people discovered Silent Planet, uh, Panic Room. Uh, oh, yes. The, yeah. I love that song. Yeah, when I heard, first heard it's amazing. that, it was so interesting and unique compared to mm-hmm. like other stuff. To me, I call Silent Planet like slam poetry. Metal. Yes, yes. It's, it's almost <laughs> like that. And yep. what's really cool is that not only do you have Garrett's awesome lyrics, but the music is so spacey enough that it really allows him to just go with that mm-hmm. flow and like manufacture how he wants to convey the lyrics. And um, it's just, it's awesome because like I said, just the way that he writes them and then just the way that their music is structured really allows him to it's deliver amazing. that message that way. Because a lot of music, you really couldn't do that just based mm-hmm. on how the music is just designed. Um, it's mm-hmm. tough to get all those words and all those different syllables and everything crammed into like the, the music, mm-hmm. yeah. but he does such a, a phenomenal job. So. He, he, for, as I said, for me, the lyrics is the best. Right. And, and, and I, I ran away from a question. So working sound planets, working yeah. planet, it's, it's nothing but a dream come true. Yeah, I've always been obsessed with music and like the who the young Hui will never believe. Like I'm working with my favorite bands. I'm working with <laughs> my favorite bands. Like yeah, sometimes I have to uh, uh, like pinch myself back. Like to I have to wake up and and realize like wait I'm not just working for a client. I'm working for the bands I've always loved. Mm. And yes, um, so with with Silent Planet, I've been a fan for a long time. Right. And I always talk with them through Twitter. Okay, because as you know, they they always respond to fans. Oh yes, yeah, always. Yeah. And I think I think that uh, they knew who I was because first of all, I responded to every tweet. I was like, I love you, I love you guys, I love you. <laughs> and because I'm lame in because I'm Rui. I'm sure I'm I'm their only fan named Rui. I'm hmm. like how many Rui's do you know? Like so I think yeah. that, that name yeah. I think that name. So when the time came to do merch, they they hired me for that first T-shirt. Then in uh, I think it was in May of 2018, I did I did a few items for their first card art. You know they they dropped the card art line, and I did a few yeah. items. Yeah. And I think that that I think that those items really helped prepare my career. A lot I got a lot of clients, metal clients from after that. After that, like hard, hard line, stands, 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 and I talk with Gareth a lot, a mm. lot, and he he was the one who sent my portfolio to a to a brand, not not a brand like um, how do I say like kind of like a label? Okay. He, sent, yeah. he he passed me to the CEO, and he got me some of my because of him, I have, I got some of my wow. biggest clients. Yep. That's no, awesome. I, and he. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's He's awesome because he 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 didn't have to do that. He could have just no, said no, no. thanks for the t-shirts. So, yeah, you he know. Said, 
I'm going to pass you along to this label. I said, is that okay? And I said, oh my, yes, please, please, thank you. Dude. <laughs> and from, from that moment, moment on, I've been working with this label mm-hmm. nonstop, nonstop. I've, uh, I was talking with them then, uh, right after I, um, you called me. Oh, yeah, awesome. So, yeah. Cool. No, I think that's so great. Garrett's somebody that's amazing. Who, yeah, he is somebody that I'd love to get on this podcast because I can talk to him forever because no, he really inspires me when I'm writing lyrics to mm-hmm. like how can I how can I explain what I'm trying to get across yeah. in a, a more like I guess sophisticated way. Yeah. Not even sophisticated, but instead of just, you know, mm-hmm. I'm mad, you know, instead of just Yeah, of course. That. Right. Cause I think that I think lyricism um is kind of one of those things that like, especially in this genre where it's like, yeah, it's what, you know, it's, we're here for the breakdowns, you know, (laughs) you know, so like the lyrics can kind of be like, "Eh, but Mm. breakdowns are cool. So we'll go with it. Yeah. Um, No, I I think that that's super awesome. But I guess one of the questions that I have uh, for you in regards to that, fortunately, Mm -hmm. I think that we are in a, um, in a, in a, in a music community of, nice like stand up you know not guys who are necessarily going to take advantage of anybody i i, I of and i i don't think so anyway um so for you though when you're talking to these bands like you're like oh it's mm-hmm. casey and it's like a yeah. business transaction mm-hmm. how do you separate if at all do you just kind of say like <laughs> here's what it costs take it or leave it or how does that <laughs> without getting into um, too much of the details good uh, good question <laughs> i I try to be, I am always professional. I say, yes. hi, hello. I'm a big fan. Uh, thank you for contacting me. And these are my prices. Okay. And thankfully, uh, 99% of my clients, n- uh, none of them, almost none of them um, said no. That's of awesome. course, some, sometimes, sometimes we have to bargain a bit, but 19, it's rare. And 99% all my clients are amazing. And they say, your prices are great. Let's go. Yeah. No, I was going to say, because I think one for the, the caliber of work you do, the prices, you know, without getting into what they exactly are, by the way, if you want any artwork, work, hit up, hit them up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's not crazy. And I, and I, and I, and I mm-hmm. think that the, 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 the thing too, is that, like I said, there's people, you know, they're, they're not mean spirited people. Yeah. I think yeah. that they're, they're nice people. But so the one thing though, that I, it sounds like you fortunately haven't run too much into, but there is, I guess that underbelly of uh, graphic design or just any kind of creators world where sometimes people get taken advantage of, or like people yeah. pay on time or anything like that. And, um, what do you, what do you think of all that? Cause it sounds like you haven't really run into too much of that. No. I've been blessed. Yeah. All my clients have been amazing. They pay on time. They pay what, what we agreed on. Everything has been amazing. Right. Uh, I think it's a, a huge scumbag move to anyone oh, yeah. who hires a client and they go through it. And then at the end of the day, they don't pay up. I mean, it, it's kind of like me going to a shop, buying food and then not paying. Like, it's kind of like the same. <laughs> it's, in a way, it's a money. It's a transaction. Right. If I if I pay something, I, I, I if I agree to something, I gotta see through to it. I, I have a few through flu. I have a few design designer clients, uh, mm-hmm. friends. I mean, who have run into these issues, and it's always it's always tricky. I, I always say spam them, spam them, spam them. Uh, like make them pay you. This is this is not right. You worked tire, tire, tirelessly on these items. You must. They must see through it. So. Yeah. yeah, but I've been blessed, and uh, I I've been all my clients have been amazing so far. No, that's awesome. So what what is kind of the advice that you give to those people? Because I see, I mean, I see it all the time, whether it's Twitter or Facebook. I yeah. see, you know, a photographer or a graphic designer. You know, mm-hmm. I worked in this band; they didn't pay. Like, what would you recommend? Like, if somebody said, you know, how should I approach? How should I approach like my business structure in terms of payment? Should I just not do anything until I get the money or what, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's one of the things I do. I, oh, I do two things. One, I only start uh, paying up front. Right. Or, but, but of course paying up front can have, it can be two sides. I mean, the designer cannot, can not provide what, yes, what you pay for. That's but, true. Uh, but I mean, that's just like everything. 
Another thing I sometimes do is event hires me. I provide the mock-up and when they see the mock-up and they say, well, let's go with this. They pay me and I send, I send them the, um, yeah. the design file. I mean, uh, so, uh, another thing that, th that they can do is a half first, half at the end mm -hmm. or something like that. Uh, I, think, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. If, if, that, if that doesn't work, I say spend them, spend them on all social media. <laughs> and, and if that doesn't work, I don't know, but maybe exposing them on Twitter or something, I don't know, but that, that yeah, can be, a, I, that, can, that can fuel, that can fuel the fire. I don't know, but maybe. Yeah, that's a, it's a tough position to be it in. Is, I, mean, it I, is. I mean, fortunately, you know, you've dealt with this professional clients and I just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, cause obviously, you know, my band, we're not massive or anything like that, but I, Yet. I just approach it in terms of just like, like I go into it and I'm like, if I know what he charges and I agree to it, I try to make sure that it's like, we just, we have the money right then and there. Of course, of course. Because of course. it's like, why do you want to, it's just like, it's just too much of a headache. It's just, mm -hmm. just get the cool product yeah. and, and, you know, and move along. But of course, man, I, I feel, I feel bad because I see it pretty often mm -hmm. uh, and, and whatnot, but so I guess from, from your perspective, because I know that you said that you don't know a lot and, and you might be right, but I think you're being mm -hmm. a little modest because I think mm -hmm. you're very talented. And if, you're only you, 20, if you're only at 20%, I look forward to what your artwork will look <laughs> like when you have 40% of Photoshop figured out. Um, so, but when you're, look, without naming any names, of course, because, mm. uh, you know, we're not, we're not trying to down anybody, but like course, when you look at, when you look at artworks and designs out there, you seem like a very positive guy, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. But what is something that you notice? Like, oh man, I wish like, you know, like, it's like a critique, you know, it's a, it's a constructive criticism mm -hmm. or something like that. Like what is something that you just have universally seen in terms of like, if you could give that mm -hmm. person advice. Of course, that you'd of say, course. Yeah. One thing I'll say is that first of all, I, I did this too, and I still sometimes do, and I'm trying to learn not to do it, is use uh, free vectors. For example, those globes you see and those little those little thingies. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the barcodes. I think that, that I think that uh, as again, I'm trying to do my own globes. I'm trying to create everything now, but a few months ago, I didn't. I used some pre-made ones. I'll say it. Because we are all in process of learning, right? Um, yeah, I think that sometimes uh, it's a bit overdone. Those real the, the barcode, for example, I used to do the barcode a lot, not anymore. Bar barcodes, not anymore. Right. Um, only if it's only if the artwork really calls for it. And nowadays, I create my own art, uh, my own barcode. For example, just an example, mm -hmm. I create my own. It's different from um, from that. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest is trying, of course, trying, because again, I don't do all of my own, but, and I'm learning, create your own factors. That's one thing that I'm trying to get to do the best. Okay. That's Always be original. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's also, you know, from a music perspective, it's, it's especially with metalcore. You know I mean? This yeah. is one of those genres that like, it is so easy to sound very similar to yeah. everybody else. And it's mm -hmm. like, as soon as like you try to venture outside of that, it's almost like, I don't know. It's like, is this too weird? Are we going yeah. too far out of left field uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in the lack of uh, experimentation, which mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be contacting you very, like probably within the next couple of weeks uh, yes. for a, uh, for a single design. Um, and, this song, uh, at least from our perspective, is very out there. So, because um, I know that you, I know that you liked Mirage quite a bit. Oh, I love Mirage. Uh, I love Mirage. I, I'm glad that you liked it. Um, which I'm sure that probably helps with the artwork if you actually like the song. Yeah. Yes. Of course. But yeah, yeah. It, it's sick. It's sick. I love it. Yeah. I, I love Mirage. Is sick. <laughs> well, thank you. But uh, man, I, yeah, the next song is gonna be weird. So it's that's right. gonna be one of like those songs. Where I'm just gonna be like. Hey man, here's the song. I don't know what you're gonna come up with, but here it is. Um, yeah. So, do you, when you're uh, talking to a client, or mm -hmm. if, especially if it's for like a single artwork or something yeah. like that, do you, do you really, 
like, how do you determine what clients to choose and what not to choose? Are you, just, or do you just kind of say like, look, I'll make it all work or like, do you have mm. like qualifiers? So to speak? No, I, I do it all. I, I mean, I yeah. don't do it all. Any client who contacts me, I'll sit, I'll, I'll, I'll read an email. I'll think about it. And 99% of the times I'll say, I can, I'll, I'll say, Hey, I'm Rui. Uh, what you what you require of me, I don't really know how to do. I'll always say it. If there's something I, I don't know, or it's not my soul, I'll say, it. hey, hey, this is cool, but it's something I can't really do. For example, illustration. I can't, I can't draw. And some clients ask me and say, hey, guys, I'd love to, but I can't do this. And if I try something like this, at this point, it won't look good. I can do something my style. I can try and... And then most times they say yes. Let's let's do your style. Let's do what you. Let's see what you can do. But yeah, uh, I work with everyone who asks me. But of of course, there's a million things I I can't. I still can't do. I I don't know. But um, yeah, for, the, for, uh, for 3D another. I don't know 3D yet. Yet I don't know 3D. Mm-hmm. I can't do 3D. But I only if the client asks me, I say I can't do it. Or, or I can. Uh, at the end of the day, I'll always bring my style, and I'll try to I'll try to make something you like. Always. Yeah, and I and I think uh, the just the the visual presentation that you have for a song, I think, is very uh, very important. And I think mm-hmm. that you are the guy, at least for us anyway, to go to mm-hmm. for that. So. Thank you. Um, as we wrap it up here, I just wanted to ask you, uh, like, what are you kind of your personal, like, you know, I guess like your goals for 2021 to evolve it. Yeah. 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 Of exactly. Course. Like what is like, what, like you mentioned illustration, is that something that you want to delve into or do uh, you know your lane, so to speak? Yeah. Uh, illustration, not so much. Yeah. Not so much. What I want to do when I, what I want to learn more is 3D, for example, mm-hmm. way more 3D. Cause I think, I really like it, and I think that nowadays 3D is getting a lot of buzz. Mm-hmm. I, I, I see a lot of people using 3D, and it looks sick. So I want to go. I want to do better. I want to get better at simpler designs, only text based. Right. Because it's funny I say this, but for me, the hardest designs to do are the text ones. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. For me, are the, are the, are the, and it's and they are my favorites. But I want to do. I want to get better at it. And I also want to do work with more pop or rap and calling lines. I love metal. I'll I'll go to my grave loving metal. <laughs> but I, I I love pop too. Yeah. I I love pop, and they have a really fresh style. They they are super. They have, in terms of merchandise, in terms of artwork, in terms of presentation, they are really different. They are always at the forefront. And I, I like my stab at it. I mean, I have worked with a lot of pop, not a lot. I've worked with some pop artists, Black Bear, for example, Ian Dior, Internet Money. Uh, not met- they are not, not they are not metal artists, but yeah, I want yeah. to work more out of other metal. And I guess the other thing I want to ask you too, because I, I you just you just brought it up, and I, I just thought of this mm-hmm. question was. For metal bands, you know, so you can even just advice for us or whoever. Of course, of course. Because obviously pop is way pop, way more popular and just in every facet than metal. I mean, it just is. I mean, that's the fact of the matter. That's the way the world works. Mm -hmm. So from a design perspective, how do you feel like metal should integrate the pop style? Do you think that they should? Should they be separate universes? Good question. Yeah. Good question. I think I think the pop the pop world is all I don't know because if maybe it's because it's popular but they are they are always uh, trend center trend setters always yes the pop artists are always trend center if you see tons of metal bands with pop 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 merchandising yes uh, always I, even I, I I have Ariana Grande's t-shirts because I, I love Ariana Grande <laughs> I love Ariana Grande right. so. Um, ooh, what I th- uh, nowadays there are only I think that what dance should do is try try to be more different in terms of presentation because mm-hmm. I think there was a shift like two years ago when or like three years ago when dance started doing more of the minimal uh, 
kind of like kind of like my style. They started doing my style. Right. Then I, I I started doing my style, and nowadays, only a few bands are really, are trying to do something different. And I'm always trying something different. But the thing is, bands want the style that will sell them the most, and and they require from me, from them, from me, what I do best. That is my normal, mm. and they don't branch out. Yeah. I think that what's the most important is just even hiring different artists, different different graphic designers, trying mm. to break away, trying to break away. Uh, for me, as long as it, as long as it, it's different, it's the best. Another another thing I'll I'll say this thing is I know it's not it's not easy for anyone is that to have better garments. I know I know it's more expensive. I know this. I know it's more expensive. I I I hundred percent agree. But I follow fashion a lot, and one thing I found is people nowadays are more gravitated towards better garments instead of better graphics. Interesting. Okay. So instead of Gildan, they would want like Carhartt or... Champion. For example, yeah. for example, right. I think, that, for example, counterparts, they release <laughs> stuff for the, they release stuff on normal garments, they sell good. They release a simpler design on Carhartt or Champion and they sell amazing. Mm. Uh, I think that what's most important today is a better garment. I, 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 I see this yeah, myself. No, I, you're I, have right. clothing items, I have clothing items from brands that are more expensive, but the items are incredibly, incredibly good. I have, uh, there's a clothing line called Represent. It's a mm. British company. Okay. They are kind of expensive. Yes. The, their hoodies are like $200, uh, something like that. Wow. They're expensive. Yeah. And I, I have a two t-shirts and a hoodie. But the, the quality of the garment, it's next to none. And I yeah. think that if the clothing, I'm not saying to to get a super expensive t-shirts, but a little better. And I know, of course, I know that's not easy, and I know the times are hard, yeah. and I know the the metal fans are not super rich right. overall. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's true. But if the garments were a bit better, it could be better. And and so that's the final a final thing. Yeah. Um, have real photos of your i know that something is not possible but have great real photos great of your merch great real photos for example sound planet sound planet has amazing photos of your merch i think yes. that yeah. you should you should event should take it, it doesn't have to be a model but someone and a great photographer and have your merch photo photographed that will sell your items the, the design may, may, you know, may, may, might not even be amazing, but the photos are amazing. It will sell. Interesting. I believe it. Oh, I believe well, that's, 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 that's a tip that I'll take, uh, that I'll, yeah. I'll take as well. Yeah. I, that's, uh, that's a, it's a good idea because it is interesting. Like the counterparts, you know, I remember the, the sweatshirt, it had a lot of controversy around yeah, it. The, yeah, because people yeah. were talking about the price, but the prices, yeah. it's almost like uh, what is it? The FOMO, the fear of missing out. It's like oh, missing out. Yes, of yeah, course. It, there's of course. like, oh, it's expensive, but that oh, it's it, it's got to be really cool and valuable. I must have it. And, of course. If 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 a, if a man says uh, only ten of these shirts, that's that thing will sell out in two minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just just because it's uh, exclusive, it's because it, right. it's limited, and nowadays. Yeah. Everything is kind of hype beast. I, I, I speak myself. I am kind of. A, I don't have. I don't have anything hype beast. Okay. I have a. I have off white here, but oh, it's my. Oh, my only one. It was a gift. Okay. So, <laughs> don't come at me. Um, nowadays, yeah, hype beast is where is that? And this kind of stuff, if bands start grabbing the, the little details, the gar better garments, better photos, things can be better. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah. Can be, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. And the other thing, I don't know why I can't, now I'm thinking of more questions no, no, to ask you. I have time. I, I, have, time. Okay. I have time. All right. Uh, so is there anything that like you haven't designed that you want to design? And there, are there things that uh, like, do you design kind of, like if I came to you and I was, and I said, you know, you know those big mouse pads. Like, do you design mm. those? Like, would you, would you be like, yeah, that's not really my thing? Are you like, all right, sure. Or like, are there are there certain items that you're like, I really want to design no. that? I'm always open for uh, new things. Always, 
Yeah. And I've done my, I've done mouse pads too. I've so if you guys want, I can I can do it. <laughs> no, but I'm always open. I'm always open. It gets for me. It's, it's always designing. It's always designing, and it's it's a new experiment. Do yeah. something. For example, for example, I can say it now. Uh, a week ago, I did the new Black Bear merch, and okay. it has and it they have sent me a huge list, and yet you have items that are absolutely crazy, uh, like a, a puzzle, a knife set, a, pl- a knife, knife set, <laughs> a knife set, a knife set because on on the back on the back of the album, the Black Bear is being pierced by knives, so it's, oh, it's, it's, oh. it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. Yeah. It's a cool idea. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I want to do more is more custom custom items. For example, a hoodie with like a black hoodie with a red sleeve, for example. Oh, yeah, uh, no. uh, uh, I don't know. Um, those those bags that Alpha Wolf have and Veros yes, have. Yes. I, I don't know. Pants. pants are, champion pants are always sick and I don't do many of them. Yeah. Um, uh, vests. Vests are really yeah. cool in the hardcore scene. Vests, those kind of like... A, you know those vests? They are really, yeah. really cool in the hardcore scene, and I, I, I don't see any band doing it. Um, and but that could be a really cool idea. Vests, not maybe not for you guys, but maybe for a really hardcore like like yeah. hardcore band. Yeah, that could be um, yeah. Anything that, that's different. If it's really different, I like it. For example, Crystal Lake. Yes. A, a few years ago, I had, um, had a merchandising that was nunchucks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> even know that. Sure. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, the part of it that I think about because I think of like I'm like, where do you get this stuff printed? Like, uh, like the yeah, mouth. that I, I, I don't know. That I don't know. That I don't yeah, know. that that is like uh, that is something that I think of because I'm like, I think because I look at the Mirage artwork and I'm like, man, that on like a big mouse pad, I'm like, would be so oh, cool. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'm like, where do you even? <laughs> Who do yeah. I contact for this? <laughs> yeah, and, and and I'm from I'm from Port- I'm from the other side of the world, right. so I can't help you. <laughs> no, I know. I sadly, I can't help you. That's no, it. for sure. Uh, that's just, it's just a super. It's a cool idea because I think that that artwork on like a mouse pad yeah. is really cool. That's a, good idea. that's a great idea. That's a yeah, I think idea. it'd be because re- I I have like a big mouse pad that I have here, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man, that mm-hmm. Raj artwork just kind of scattered throughout this would be yeah. really cool but all right man well thank you and uh, before i do let you go though i do it's want you to because i know that you are uh i see you all the time on twitter you're a big supporter of other artists oh, and whatnot course. so who are some design because that's also part of it too from a band perspective there's so many designers that it's kind of hard to like of keep up with all of it so who are mm-hmm. some that you're like if you if you leave some out, uh, that's okay because I know that you ha- I know that you converse with a lot of people. Of course. Um, so, who are some like you know for bands that are listening? Like, who are some artists other than yourself? Of course. Of course, of course. That of course. That, that that they should uh, maybe contact for some of commissions. Of course. So, uh, I'll say my great friend Heavy. Her name is Flower and Bones on um, on Instagram and on Twitter. She's okay. amazing. She's worked with architects. Uh, she's worked with uh, Haley Williams, she's she has her she has her own clothing line called Flower and Bones. She is amazing. Flower and Bones. My other friend is Blake Davidson. Blake, um, his Twitter is Blake Davidson, and she he 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 has worked with Sound Planet, Spirit Box. He has worked uh, more. Uh, Maddie, also a friend of mine. She she her Twitter is Eruption. I think okay. how to say it. She has worked with Kane Hill. And a few other artists that I'm not that I'm doing. Um, Drop Dead. She has worked with Drop Dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, she is, she is super talented. And there are a few bigger ones, of course. This is Don Burkle. Don Burkle did the, did the, the North Flame merch when it came mm-hmm. to Alien. He is the okay. Alien merch, which, oh, wow. in my opinion, is probably the best merchandising event I've probably ever had. He he wow. is one of my biggest. He, he's completely a next level. And he's, a, he's an amazing guy. He's super nice. Uh, let me see more. Uh, these are the most metal ones. Uh, right. Uh, there's a uh, Tim. Tim, who did for Alpha Wolf. Mm-hmm. She he did for Neck Deep. He did for Architects. Tim, I think it's Tim Nine Min on Instagram. He's okay. super talented. He also did for Crystal Lake too. Cross Faith, I think so. He's oh, super wow. talented. Uh, these are some of. Uh, I think these are 
some of the artists that I follow and that I'm friends with and they are super talented and they deserve all the best and they are yeah they are really good really good yeah yeah and yeah the other artist that I have come across I'm not sure if you're familiar with is Captive Art or something like that like uh, C A C A P T maybe maybe I know but maybe I know but the, the name escapes me. It's like that super like realistic looking artwork. Mm. It's, it's it's. I'll see if I can pull it up because yes, I, yes, I, yes. I I'm interested to see what you think because I looked at this and I'm like it literally looks like like pictures, but um, it's, it's not pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. So like he does stuff like I don't know if you can see, but oh yeah yeah I I uh, I, I don't know who it is, but that, that's sick. I, I, I think you show you show me that when you yes, when, yeah. when you're doing we doing Mirage. Yes, exactly. I look at it. I'm like, what is yeah. this? It's just like are, real. Yeah. One thing, uh, uh, smaller, uh, not small. I, I am. Uh, I've been doing design for three years. I, I don't know much, but something artists that don't have a lot of um, clients, mm -hmm. and they look at other clients and say, "Wow, look at me! I know nothing. I'm I'm bad." Uh, uh, I want to say to them how I look at it. I look at it. I don't look at the. Um, I sometimes try to look at a bigger artist, a far more talented, and I think, wow, there's so much more I can learn. Mm. Yes. I don't see it as, wow, look how bad I am. Look how bad I am. It's like, a, wow, there's so much more I can learn. There's so much more out there to learn, like textures, 3D, right. uh, better, better fonts, uh, better placing. Uh, it, it's, uh, we are all learning. So, None of us uh, was born doing such. We are all we are le learning, we're all growing. Mm. So that that's all my my way of thinking. Even though I, I am an F I am kind of a negative person, but mm. I always try to see the glass half full. Like yeah, um, there's so much. There's so much more. There's there's an infinite universe of such of such of stuff right. we can do. And, and even musicians, anything, anything, there's so much more we can do. So that, that's my way of not getting discouraged. Yeah, because that does happen. And, and so the other thing of too, course, I, know that you just shout, I know that you just shouted out a bunch of those artists, which I think is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but for any artists that are also listening, what do you think is the best way for them to maybe try to get clients? Is it just making mock-ups okay. and tagging them on social media? Or? Yeah, that's what that's what I did. Uh, what I did to blow up, blow up, was you did I made blow up. I know that you're modest, but you did. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, yes. Uh, so what I did was I did unofficial. First of all, uh, before I say that, before, first of all, uh, truly understand the, your client. Like understand their aesthetic, understand where they want to go, not where that where they want to go. Of yeah. course, you, you you might not be completely correct, but try to understand where 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 they at, where they want to go. Try to understand their aesthetic, and from them on, yes, do uh, do a design, and it, of course, an unofficial design, and tag them. Mm. Also, also uh, tag bands or work for bands that are active on their social media. Don't do for Parkway Drive, for example, because Parkway Drive, <laughs> they are so big. No, they are, I love Parkway Drive. You won't hear from them, yeah. Of course, uh, their Twitter, they have so many followers. They won't, they probably, probably, they won't ever see your comments. Go for bands that respond to their fans just because they will see your, your tweets. Uh, so yeah, do uh, do an unofficial design, tag them all and say, hey guys, I'm, I'm X and I'd love to work with you. Yeah. One one thing I saw a few designers do. I've been seeing a few designers that are that that's really smart. That I that I didn't do is don't do one piece, do a full line. Oh, do wow. a full line. For example, my friend Blake, who worked for Speedbox, he's a smart man because he did a full line for Speedbox, and they and they, hey, you got it. They hired me. They hired him. Wow. So yeah, I think that of course. Of course, we all have our jobs, we have school, we have stuff to do. Of course, no, all of us will have time to do a full line. But that's a good idea. That's a good, I think that's really, and Twitter, Instagram lately has been really bad for us creatives because they have been cutting our views. They have been, yeah. the algorithm has been fucking yes. us. So yeah. Twitter, it seems the best 
Facebook, no. Twitter. Twitter it seems a little bit the best because you have you can approach bands, yeah. you can approach other clients, other labels. Th that's how I got most of my clients. Like mm -hmm. all the clients I had before, it was through Twitter. They saw my they, they saw my stuff, and I and I use Instagram as a portfolio. That's yeah, funny. and that's that's so interesting that Twitter's the one because Twitter's so words based, not yeah. graphics or visual based. Yeah. So, but it, that makes sense. But it, it help, uh, for me, it it helped for me. It helped me a lot. Uh, yeah. I got I got to work with some of the some of the world's biggest metal stars. Of course, not Parkway Drive, not Architect. Sure, but yet, I mean, yet, worked, yet, 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 you will though. You will. Yes. <laughs> well, um, I've worked with Loth, which I think they are oh, the wow. next big thing. Yes. Which I think Loth is the best album of the year, last year, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> Lo uh, they are, Loth are the next, they are completely geniuses. Yeah, yeah they I, did. They, they, they know what they're doing. For me, yeah. I, just because I'm a fanboy, my favorite was Amur. I Amur, just, I, Amur, yeah. I, yeah I, I, I saw the video. I saw the video. Yeah, I just, yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I love that. I want you to work with them eventually. I saw Amur live like uh, four, uh, five years ago. Five, uh, oh, no, wow. uh, I saw them when they dropped Look at Yourself. Okay, so came, Josh came, was they, in the band. Okay. Yes, they came to Portugal. And I saw them. They were really, uh, I mean, super, super sick live, super sick. Yeah. Energy. Oof, they are great. And I was never a huge Emir fan up until yeah. that point. But when they really look at herself, that album is sick. And Josh <laughs> is so nice. Josh, I, I never talked to the other guys, but yeah. Josh is an amazing guy. Super nice, super open to all, yeah. all my ideas because the, the stuff I did for them, they they gave me no direction. It was all it was. They gave me. Oh, do whatever you want. Just just do it. Give a, just do something sick, and they approve them. Approve everything at the first at the first first Sunday. It's approved. Let's do it. Sure. Then I did the album that will come out. I don't I don't know. The album is sick. I heard it is incredible. Um, but yeah, Darko Darko are amazing guys. I probably shouldn't be saying I, I have heard a couple of songs that aren't mm -hmm. released yet. I have yes. I have heard a couple, and uh, it's shaping up to be a very it's fun amazing. album. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the, the artwork is sick. The artwork is sick too. So oh, well, I, <laughs> well, if you designed it, I'm sure it's going to be great. And I guess the last thing, and I, I yeah, promise, this is the, la the last thing that I'll ask you from a band's perspective, because I want to make sure that I. Because I know that you guys, not you in particular, but mm -hmm. a lot of other artists have it tough with some bands and stuff like that. Of so course. so that I can uh, interact with these artists better. I think I do a good job as is, but you know, I always want to try to improve that dynamic and that communication. Mm -hmm. So for me, when an artist reaches out to us and they say, like, hey, I'd like to work with you guys, how do you think I should approach that? Because right now what I've kind of said is like, That'd be awesome. If you want to like make something up for us, we'd love to look at it mm -hmm. and review it and we can kind of go from there. Is that the best way to kind of go with that conversation or? I think that's a good idea. One, one that I feel is great and I speak for myself. I think sure. I'm by, um, if I say, I, I don't know you guys and I'd approach you. Yeah. And, and you guys said to me, hello, Rui, thank you. Right now, we don't need anything but we'll keep you in, your, in our thoughts for the future. For me, that's totally fine. That's yeah. totally okay. You guys were nice. You guys said, hey, maybe not right now. That has happened to me tons of times. I There's no blind blood. That's okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not right now. And that's totally okay with me. I think that's a good way to, I think that's a good way to, to approach. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe I'll save it for the future. Let's keep in contact. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you, you even can say, um, "I can't promise. I can't promise you to take to hire you, but let's keep in contact. Let's keep right. in contact. Let's keep seeing how this goes." For me, it's super, super great, super great. For me, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll have no issues with that. Awesome. Yeah. No, because my philosophy that I and I know that the guys in in my band we share the same thing. If it looks good or sounds good. It's good. I mean, so that's really what it boils down to. Uh, that if it's cool, it's cool. I mean, cool is cool. So of course, of course. Um, but thank you so much for your time. I'm gonna Thanks try for to taking me. Yeah, of course. I'm surprised you haven't been on a podcast before. No, never. No, people don't like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, so, I just, I, cause uh, I, I'm not a musician. I mean, I, I'm in a band, but I, I yell, you know what I mean? Like I, I just do the yell. I don't, I, I don't play guitar. I can't do anything. What? I can't, I can't, I mean, I mean, I can play drums. I got a drum set and, and when I was 18, like, oh, wow. But I'm, I'm horse shit. I'm <laughs> horrible. I, I'm, I'm okay. I, I can play like free prepare more songs. I mean, I can play Miri's, I can play Misery Business. Well, I can there you play, go. That, that's all uh, you need right there. Yeah, I can play a few songs, but I kind of stopped because I, I have no teacher. So, but, nevertheless, keep going. <laughs> no, I, I, so, I just, I'm very interested in like marketing side of things, design. Yeah. I really, I love that stuff. That's really my forte. So you were somebody that I naturally was just like, I mm -hmm. got to have him on. And now I'm going to attempt to pronounce your name. So, oh, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Hui Carnero. Yeah. Oh man, that, that was kind of perfect. Kind of perfect. Right, okay. It's, what did I mess up on? I want to make sure. No, I it's Hui Carnero. Carnero. Yeah. And car carneiro, actually, um, funny thing, carneiro in English means uh, the male of the sheep. Uh, how do you say the male of the sheep? How do you say the, like the, uh, the sheep? And then there's a male. How, how do you say it in English? Uh, oh. my, um, is, how do we say it? Uh, That's a my good mind. question. Let me go collect the oil fast. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's uh, a good sheep, question. Sheep, male. Sheep. Uh, rams. Ram. Oh, okay. Okay. Carneiro, carneiro means ram in English. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I tried. I for, tried for, no, for no reason. For no reason. But yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> yeah. The, the, there is one problem with Americans is that a lot of Americans have trouble rolling R's with like. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. The, and that's that's natural. That's yeah. That's that's of course of because of our our language. Right? Yeah. So, I, I'm 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 a pretty good at it, you know. I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like you, I'm at twenty percent. You know, I'm twenty yes. percent there. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, man. This was an oh, awesome, man. awesome conversation. Thank you for and, having me. Uh, yes, of course. And you'll be hearing from us very soon. Of course, man. Yes. Okay, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of the True Shot Guest Bob podcast. If you like what we're doing over here, I'll give you a couple things that you can do depending on where you're listening. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, turn on notification bells, comment down below, let us know what you thought of the podcast. If you're on Spotify, give us a follow. Uh, if you're also on Spotify, give the band a follow, all that good stuff. Um, you know, Share it on your, on your Instagram story. Share it with a friend. I don't care. Share it with somebody. Tag me. Tag the guest, you know, all that good stuff. I stole that line from Finn McKenty. Uh, tag us, tag the guest. I like that. That's a good line. If you listen to us on Apple Podcasts, leave us a five-star review or one-star review. Five-star, though, or I'll find you. And uh, let us know what you think of the podcast and how much you love us. Also, if you want to continue on further, we are on Twitch. You can follow us there, twitch.tv slash trueshotofficial. And if you want to even go further, Patreon, patreon.com slash official, which really helps us in the band kind of. Uh, not uh, go uh, starving. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.